today I got a brand new app for you that you can check out to check your device's health it's the best app I've come across that allows you to do everything all in one so let's go and check this app out see what it has to offer and can I'll show you how to get this installed toward the end of this video right away we have a lot of information to process about device health on our Amazon Fire TV so we see a number of different items to check so we have to start with the RAM section that has a percentage sign of how much RAM is being used on our device right now. Just daily, it's fluctuating from 69 all the way up to 70, and it seems to be hovering around 70, 72, 73, 69. And then if we drop down here, we have the CPU status. CPU status, I haven't seen on any other app on the Amazon Fire TV, but this would definitely come in handy if I wanted to know how my CPU was responding to daily usage on my Amazon Fire TV. So the max speed that I can get on this device, the Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max, I can only get up to 2000 megahertz per second, which is also equivalent to two gigahertz which is the max of cpu speed that you can get on this device the next section that we have down below is the internal storage section but we're going to come back to that and then you have your battery section and then you have apps down below so once you've checked out your ram your cpu status and confirmed everything is running properly now you can look at your internal storage your battery and then the apps that you have running but let's go ahead and skip that for now and we'll circle back to it because there is a tab at the top for each one of those categories but i'm gonna go and show you the second best thing about this app and it's in the navigation bar at the very top so in the top left hand corner we're on dashboard but if you were to continue to the right hand side and go to apps if you click on apps, this also tells you and shows you which apps you have installed on your device. It doesn't unfortunately tell you if it's running, but it does do one feature that comes in handy. So let me explain that feature. So if I was to click on an app that I had running on the Amazon Fire Stick and I wanted to close that app within this app. So when I say close that app, I mean force close. So let's go ahead and click on the app. And in the top right hand corner, there are three dots. So if we go over to the right, click on the three dots and click on view in system settings. If we click on that, it takes us immediately straight to the Amazon Fire Stick system settings for that app. We can click on force stop and we can click the back button and that will stop that app from running in the background. And we can continue to cycle to the next app. And we can also check all of the status device health issues that we had going on. So I did go ahead and cycle back and you can see the RAM is lowered once again to about 68, 69. It didn't lower that much, but it is hovering below 70. So I close that app and now we get a little bit more RAM back and you can watch that in real time right here. And then once again, you can come back over to the apps tab and cycle through all of the other apps that you want to force close and then monitor the device health from there. So the next step, we're going to land on device. So we'll go down the list now to each tab on the navigation. So under device, you have device name, model, manufacturer, the hardware type, the brand, and just basic information there. So for the next tab, we are landed on system. This is just basic information as well. Not much in here that would come in handy, but if we continue to cycle over. So the next tab that we do come to is CPU. We have our hardware, our cores, and our CPU frequency of the speed that it can range from. So it does range from 600 megahertz to 2000 megahertz, which is the, the peak megahertz performance speed. So that's interesting information to have. It also gives you the GPU information as well if you want to drill down into the technical specs of things just to see what the device was running under the hood pretty much. So if I click on the storage tab, you just get basic information. Once again, you can't control anything from here, but it does give you an indication of how much free space you have. So we're at 74% total space used on our device. So that's about a third of the way as well. So I, we have about three gigs free it says so we have nine gigs used out of 12 so we have three left and that's all the information that you get on the storage tab if we continue over to the next tab which is battery click on battery it says we're in good health it has the level which is 100 percent it's got the status which is charging um, most likely this is referring to my device's health the actual fire stick so with it plugged in it says power source which is ac which is the plug in the adapter plugged into the wall. So 
and it also gives the temperature. I'm not sure if you would need that information, but it does give you the temperature and the voltage coming through through that AC adapter. So that's definitely convenient if you wanted to know some of the deeper specs about your device. If I click on the next tab, we have our display settings. We are getting 1080p based on the monitor that I am using. If this was a 4K TV or any type of, if I was using a 4K TV or any higher resolution TV or monitor, it would show me here. Um, but right now I'm using just a regular high definition monitor and it says 1080p and we are getting 60 frames per second as a refresh rate. It tells me the size 21 inches. Also tells me the screen timeout, which is 300 seconds. And then it gives me some of the DPI information, which is the color and the scale of things. So those are the display settings. If you wanted to do a deep dive, those are the deeper specs that you can get from this device. The next tab we have is sensors. There's not much to conclude about this section. It just has nothing. It just says zero sensors available if we proceed to the apps. So if I click on the next tab, which is called apps on the navigation menu, we have a list of all of our apps. Once again, this section comes in handy once again, because you can search for an app, any app on your device, click on the three dots in the right hand corner and then click on the view settings and then you can immediately force stop that app and then go back and then you can go back again and you can cycle to any of the next apps to force close them and then you can jump immediately back to the next tab which would be dashboard and you can come in here and check your ram and your cpu speed to see if any progress has been made as far as a speed boost um, once again, it does take a little bit of time for that speed boost to occur, but you will see it right there in the top right hand corner once it does register that free space. So that's the app section. And if we wanted to go over one more time to the last tab, which is tests, we can test a variety of different things like display. We can test our speakers. We can test vibration. We can test Wi-Fi. If I click on test Wi-Fi, it just tells me if my Wi-Fi is good and connected and it says I passed, so I'm just gonna click. My... But this app is great, that concludes the app. Let me go ahead and show you how to get it installed on your device. So I'm gonna go back to the home screen. So if you wanted to get this app on your Amazon Fire Stick, all you have to do is go over to the magnifying glass on the left-hand side. You wanna come down to the search, click on search. You wanna type in device info. So let's go ahead and spell that out. All right, once you have device info, there won't be any search results. So just click on device info. Once you have it spelled out, come down here toward the bottom under apps and games. Under apps and games, you'll see this app called device info. You want to click on that app. If you don't already have this app installed, we'll click on the download button and let the download process for about 30 seconds. And then we're going to open it up. Once it's done downloading, you want to open it up and then you can begin using this, checking your device health. Once you do open this up for the first time, you'll have to hit start now and then it'll advance you through. You can start to diagnose your device's health and check your speeds and make sure everything's good. Or you can just do a deep dive and see what all you have access to to see what's going on daily or regularly with your device's health. So it's definitely a good tool to use. Definitely let me know down in the comment section below what you think of it. If you wanted to find this app, all you have to do is go back to the home screen on the Fire TV, click on the three squares with the plus sign, and the app will be down here at the very bottom, the last app that you installed. So it's the last app that you installed. If you wanted to move that to the home screen, you just click on move to front with the three lines on your remote, and that will move that app to the front of the screen. So. You'll have that for you. Hope this helps you in the long run as far as diagnosing any issue that you have on your Fire TV. Let me know what you think down below. Give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.